uh, you can use an Allen wrench to back off the tensioner here. Let's find one that fits inside there. Back that off. Move it now. Here that you gotta take this idler pulley up first, make some room. And this should be able to come down here now. Okay, I was gonna tell you, that bracket is a spitch to get out of here. I had to put the motor down about an inch or two to get that out. Now we get the water pump out of here. There's three bolts on the water pump. All the way through is good, I guess. All right, let me get a pin under there. Catch what we can here. Most of it should be drained out. Right, the water pump I chose is um, got the pet metal impeller, like the one I took out, and 100,000 it was still attached. Put some silicone around the O ring there. Gonna push this back in. I did clean up with sandpaper the mounting area, and I blew the holes out um, with some air so no water is getting trapped in there. And let me remount the bolts, and I'll be right back. All right, water pump's in. I got things hand tight. These get tightened down to 11 foot pounds. Alright, here's the old tensioner pulley. Bought a new one of those. Bought a new idler pulley. So let me get those out of the boxes and I'll be putting those in. Alright, with the new t um, tensioner, this will go in. Make sure, I don't know if you can see in there or not. There's a, there's a, there's a little hole back here. And the pin that sticks out on here has to go in that hole. And what you're going to find, if you don't get it right, it's like this sticking out. 
fit it back around there and it'll fit pretty much flat up in there. I'm going to leave that like this. Do not tighten it down. And when you're tensioning this layer, because you're not going to see it with the belt on, the little arrow right here, when you bring this around to tension it, it goes in that groove right there, it fits right in the middle. And that's when the belt's got the right tension on it, and then you tighten this down. But when we get to that, you're not going to be able to see it. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put the roller down here, and then we'll get the belt. Alright guys. We're still locked in down here. We still have the pin up on top, so we know we're still at top dead center here. Got our roller here. This is 15 foot pounds. I'm going to start the belt down here. I'm going to dry this up a little bit more. I'm going to start the belt down here. I'm going to come up along the water pump and then up around the camshaft. This side I'm going to get as tight as I can and I'm going to leave the slack on this side where the tensioner is and then I'll pull it. But when I release that, it should pull that tight and should keep everything locked up. If we're off a little bit, we can loosen the bolts on the camshaft and we have some play within that to actually do the final timing of the engine. But make sure this is locked up and we keep everything locked right now. Alright, I have the belt on. These are 18 foot pounds. I tighten this down. We'll adjust this if we need to. I just pulled the pin out so I can hand crank the engine. Got the tensioner. We have it. Let me have the light. You can see where that little arrow is. Right there, that's tensioned down. That was 15 foot pounds, and then the idler pulley down there is 18 foot pounds. All right, down here, what we want to do is we pull this out that was holding our timing. We're going to crank this around twice, relock it in, and hopefully that pin will go in up top. You're watching this, right? Piece of crap wrench. You're taking a picture. in. Let's go on top. On top. And this one should fit back in. And it does. So we're good. Alright, I'm just going to put the covers back on and we'll start it up. Got the belt in, check the timing again, got the motor mounts in, they're 33 foot pounds, um, that bracket, the motor mount, I had to take the um, idler pulley back out so I could get that in and put the idler pulley back in. And got to put the power steering back, put the water back, and we'll be coming down here, and I'll put the covers back on down here, and we'll be starting it up here pretty soon and see how it goes.